Another big newsmaker this evening, the global CEO of Alstom is bullish on India and his company's growth prospects. Speaking exclusively to me, Henry Lafard said India has been a fantastic growth story for the company and its turnover has grown 40% this year. He also said the company is in talks with the Indian Railways to finalize a new contract for the Vande Bharat project. Take a look. India has been a, a fantastic growth story for us, both for the Indian market as well as for the export market. So yes, for the Indian market, we have the two or three main pillars, the first one being the urban market, where mm -hmm. we have almost 50 cities uh, with a metro project, and Alstom is involved in each and every metro project in all the cities in India, whether uh, it is on rolling stock or, or signaling or infrastructure. So the urban market is buoyant. But the mainline market is extremely important now. Last year, I believe it was your fastest growing market. That's uh, 2022. Does it continue to be your fastest growing market? Uh, absolutely. I mean, the, our turnover in India has grown by more than 40 percent this year. Again, back on the local uh, market, the Indian market, which is booming. Uh, but we are also exporting more and more. Uh, you know that we have more than 25 percent of all the engineering being done in Alstom, which has been done in India. And we are aiming at 33 percent. One third of the entire engineering activities of Alstom will be done in India. We have also our main uh, traction components, the traction boxes factory, which is in, uh, in Coimbatore, which is one third of the market. We have that in India uh, again. So you know that India for Alstom is today the first country in terms of number of employees. So the growth is supported both by the Indian market, which is growing very fast, as well as from a growing portion of export markets as well. Mm -hmm. uh, a billion euros in turnover from India, that was the target that was set for 2023. Do you believe you're on track to be able to achieve that? We, we have 4.2 billion euros of backlog to deliver. So yes, we are on track to these kind of numbers. Let's talk about the big opportunity that seems to be opening up, and that is the Vande Bharat opportunity. You've emerged as the lowest bidder, uh, L1, as far as that uh, over 30,000 crore rupee order is concerned. But there are reports suggesting that there is a renegotiation underway with the government of India. Uh, can you shed some light on that for us? Well, first of all, let me outline how important is this uh, contract. It's, it's the first time that we will put in India an aluminium technology at large scale. So we are going to deploy this technology, which we don't yet have in India. We have stainless steel uh, technology, but we have the aluminum now uh, technology, uh, which will allow us to implement a hub for the export, an aluminum hub for the global export. So it's an extremely important, of course, project for Indian uh, teams. It's an extremely important project for Indian railway. So I will not call it renegotiation, as, as always. Uh, we, are, uh, we have conversation with Indian Railway to finalize the project, finalize the contract. As you can imagine, for such a large project, there are a lot of discussions, and we are discussing, and I'm very confident that we'll uh, achieve these discussions. Uh, but part of the discussion is the ask from the Indian government to bring down the price even lower, because I believe that it was set at 151 crores per train set, which was 11% lower uh, than the next bidder, which was your competitor, Standler. So uh, what is the ask of the government as you conduct these conversations? Well, first of all, we believe that we made a, a very, very uh, good price for this uh, 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 trains, of course, and, and you don't expect me to, to share with you all the day-to-day the -day dialogue that we have. I mean, this is what, we're, um, again, I'm confident that we'll finalize uh, the, the contract. Again, it, would be a, it is a fantastic project for Alstom, for the Indian Railway, and uh, for the Make in India in general. Uh, but you, while you can't uh, discuss the specifics of the contract or the price negotiations, what's the timeline by when you expect clarity on moving forward with this? As soon as possible. <laughs> as soon as possible. And what will that? Eventually, if this gets done and whatever price it gets done at, what will that mean in terms of operationalization of this? Uh, and, you know, what kind of investments will you need to make to be able to cater to this opportunity? So one thing which is important uh, to know is that, uh, again, this will be a new uh, technology. So we are starting, actually, to invest in terms of capabilities, in terms of know-how. So in Bangalore, we have a large engineering team to design these trains. Part of the trains and the aluminum technology will be done uh, as well uh, in the state of Gujarat, so in Savli, in our factory of Savli, where we are going to uh, uh, manufacture the, the body shell. And, uh, within the, the, the sites of, uh, of Indian Railway. So it's a, it's a several sites which will be involved, uh, which will need heavy investment, both internally in Alstom and on the sites of Indian Railway. Well, that is the global.